dear partners, colleagues, engineers, everybody who is watching this video. I'm Anton, account manager of the Triol Corporation. Right now we are at Triol Manufacturing Facility. That's our test bench and in front of you our variable speed drive. Today we're going to show you the adjustments type for the PMM motor. We got different types of control system for PMM motor. That's vector control system and cosine control system. The main topic of this video is to show you how to adjust the motor settings in our controller. The first stage is connection of the power supply line. In the kit with our VSD we are sending you a special key for the all doors opening. So just open the door to connect all of the power supply cables. In our connection box you can see input, output and ground cable connections. Make sure everything connected depends on the signs, input, output and ground. With the back side of our key for the door opening, you can tight all of the cables connections. Make sure all of them connected in exact way and tight. Put cables from our VSD going directly to step up transformer. Make sure all the connections are done correctly. So from this side it's input to step up transformer. From this side cables will go out directly to the PMM motor. After all the connections of the power supply line, step up transformer and motor done, you can turn on our drive. For a few seconds you will see the controller running. After that, we are opening the main box of the controller to make the needed adjustments. As I told you, in this video we will show you two different control types for the PMM motor. The first stage of the setting is the entering your power supply network type. 380 volts or 480 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. Depends on your network type. This is the first stage I will show you. Before you start, first of all, you need to check supply network parameters to make sure it corresponds to your local supply network type. Go to the installation parameters menu entry. Over here, go down there and check work voltage. It must be set depends on your local network type, 380 or 480 volts. In Ukraine, we have 380, so I'm saving. And power system parameters, 50 or 60 hertz, also depends on the your network type. Ukraine got 50, I'm saving it. In our drives, we have two different control types of PMM motor, vector control and cosine control. Press left button for main menu. To set the control type, go to installation parameters. Drive type and choose PMM vector control or PMM cosine control. Vector control gives you more efficiency on the drive by basic settings and cosine more flexible for adjustments so you can set cosine value and it is more easier to adjust. Let's start from PMM vector control. After they are setting the control system you're requiring, the VSD will restart controller with save parameter. So we are starting with PMM vector control and pressing save. After you choose the control time, UNCA will restart and you will see the main screen again. Next step is entering setting of step up transformer based on the PMM voltage and DSP supply line length. Go to main menu by pressing left. Over there, calculation step up transformer top voltage. Over here, there are two main parameters you need to set. One is prime winding voltage, depends on your network type and transformer settings 380, and step up transformer top voltage, which consists from transformer top setting plus losses on supply line. In our case, it's 120 volts for uh, motor plus about 300 volts for ESP supply line loss. So I'm setting 1,500 1, volts. And pressing save. After you need to go to drive setting, vector control, setup menu entry. 
Here you need to enter the check several parameters. The nominal frequency of engine, maximum speed of engine, so every, all of this depends on your on the frequency of your motor. In our case it's 100 Hz. As well you need to enter nominal vo voltage engine. You can find it on the label of your motor. In our case it's 1400 volts. Saving. The next stage is ESM rated current. As well you can find it on the label of the motor. In our case it's about 20 amperes. So I'm setting 20 amperes. It could be 20.3, does not matter. And maximum torque you form in current. In our case it's 23 amperes. Then the next stage is start frequency and voltage main parameter for success motor start. Starting frequency. Uh, calculate from PMM nominal frequency and usually about 3-4% from nominal. So in our case we got the motor 100 Hz. So we can make it about 4 Hz for start frequency. And the voltage start setting must be done. It's also calculate like step up transformer setting divided on motor nominal frequency and multiplied start frequency. So we get 1500 volts divided on 100 hertz and multiplied 4. So in our case the voltage start will be about 60 volts. This calculation is approximate just to, to try to start the motor. So do not forget to check and enter the number of poles. It also depends on your motor type and you can see it on the label. After you need to go to one step back in menu to line and PM SM entry. You must enter few parameters here like resistance, inductance, torque. Resistance is a summary of motor stator resistance and cable resistance. Must be close to live but 20% point error possible. In our case we we set in about 2 ohm. As for the inductance, this information could be provided by the manufacturer of the motor. So it's something like basic parameter. For the torque, it depends on the motor size and diameter, information available from manufacturer as well. So all of this must be on the data sheet or provided with the motor from manufacturer. So in our, in our case, these parameters set, were set it before when we adjust the motor first time. After you made the vector control setting and motor resistance settings, you need to make two steps back at the menu and go to UF characteristic. In this entry, you need to change Mach frequency limit up to nominal motor frequency. In our case, it's 100 Hz. Here, basically, it was 50, so I'm changing it to 100 Hz right now. And save. Now you're going to the main screen by pressing SK. Over here, you need to change the frequency setting on the main screen as well. This parameter could be changed while operating, but I am doing it before. After, you can push start button. If motor does not start or start with shaking of shaft in two directions, press stop and go back to vector control settings entry. Try to high up start voltage up to 70 or 80 volts over here until motor will not start and move in one direction smoothly. So just high up and trying to start it again. After motor starts for for second drive will go from asynchronous mode to vector control. So as soon as you will find the correct voltage of start. Second control type of PMM motor is cosine mode. Go to the main menu, installation parameters, Press right and in drive type you need to choose PMM cosine. After that UMCA will restart automatically.
Now you can go again to installation parameters. And you can see that cosine mode is already entered. You need to set up frequency, frequency of the drive. In our case, let's say it's 200 hertz. So I'm not changing, but it also depends on your motor type and ESM rated voltage. You can get it from the motor label or from manufacturer. After that, you need to set step up transformer top. Go back to previous menu to calculation of step up transformer. Over here, you need to set up the ESM rated voltage and ESM rated current, which you can find on the label of the motor. And step up transformer top voltage. It's also calculated by the summary of motor voltage plus supply line loss. In our case, the current of the the voltage of the motor is 1200 volts plus about 400 volts for the long line loss. So I'm setting 1600 volts. The next stage, go back to the menu, to the drive setting. You need to set P UF characteristic. But before, just go to the PMM cosine mode. Here you need to set up the motor type in RPMs. 6000 RPMs is about 200 Hz, 3000 RPMs is 100 Hz. So in our case it's 600,000 RPMs, which equal to 200 Hz our motor type. Make sure that sinus filter is on. Check the pole number of PMM, in our case it's also 2. And put the efficiency factor, but make sure that this efficiency factor is on the exit of the drive. The real efficiency factor on the motor will be a little bit higher. In the case we will leave 0 0.87, on the motor it will be about 0 0.91 efficiency factor. Though this one is just only on the exit of the VSD. After you set all of this, go to UF characteristic setting. In this menu, you can see that all the parameters are automatically calculated and you just need to adjust some of them, like started frequency, 0.1 frequency and 0.1 voltage. So as for the calculations, the 0.1 frequency and 0.1 voltage is the main parameters for the motor start. 0.1 frequency usually equivalent to starting frequency, so I'm setting for hertz. The 0.1 voltage is calculated like motor voltage divided on motor frequency and multiply on start frequency. In our case it's about 24, so I will put 30. This will be also the main parameter which are regulating the motor start. Right now the drive is ready for start. Again, if you got some problems with start, just adjust the 0.1 voltage make it higher until the motor will not start smoothly. After all the adjustment done, on the main screen you can see the sign ready at the screen. Press start button and you will see green light which says that the VSD starts. After the all adjustment done, the shaft of your PMM motor will start smoothly as you can see on the video on our test bench. So two different types of control of PMM motor done. Thank you for attention.